Hello, this is Eli from uh, SafeNet Health Technical Support. I would like to show you something which relates to the Envelope API. Uh, here we have uh, an application, .NET application, with just a button uh, that shows some uh, message box. And uh, I would like to protect it using the envelope, so uh, I used uh, the envelope of uh, version 5.10. And uh, now the feature ID feature zero here says that this is the feature, the first feature that is going to be verified uh, when when I launch the application, the enveloped application, uh, and then if I click on uh, one of the button, then uh, f feature number 64 is going to be uh, checked, verified, and uh, the other button that I have here, uh, feature 54. Now both uh, features 64 and 54 I don't have them in my uh, application in my uh, license in my key connected to this machine uh, and so let's see what's what's going on so I protected it I have already done it and let me show you the result and here is uh, let's first close the original application and let's uh, uh, run the enveloped application now. So it's running. It's running because feature zero uh, was first verified, and it is. It is, it does exist uh, on my uh, uh, key. But once I click on uh, this uh, this button, then feature number 45, 40, uh, 40, 54 or 64 are going to be verified. Let's see what's happening. And I don't have them on my key. Uh, the expected error message that feature not found this is okay however the problem is that if i try to stop it and and have it uh, ended there's no other opportunity except for opening uh, the task manager and asking to uh, end this task so this is not a convenient way uh, to do things. And this is why uh, we have uh, Envelope API in order to deal, uh, to handle such cases. So let's see uh, first what are the results if I use this Envelope API. I have uh, here another enveloped application, but this enveloped application, uh, this application is the same, very same application, except for using the envelope API in order to control these error messages. So let, let me show you here. If I click on this one, this is the enveloped application uh, and feature number, number 54 or 64 does not exist. But nevertheless, I don't get the error message. Uh, I get another message that I, as a vendor, can put uh, whatever I like. And when I click on OK, it gets back. Nothing happened also here. So this is very convenient to have control on uh, error messages uh, once a, a, a key or maybe a feature does not exist. So how do we do it? How do we use uh, our uh, Envelope API to control uh, the, uh, the messages once a feature does not exist? Let me show you. I have your uh, Visual Studio uh, with the application, with this application that I'm showing here. And let me show you how to do it. Uh, so first I, I'll uh, turn back uh, the original uh, source code. And here you can see how we do it. So the very first thing that I, I do is I add uh, into the reference the Haladin Hasp envelope runtime. And then uh, obviously I, I use also uh, the same uh, namespace. And then what I do, I would like to work with it, uh, with the enveloped runtime. So I uh, create a new, uh, a new uh, delicate. Now, let me show you how it is done. I do uh, like a new notification delegate. And I put here the name of the function that I would like uh, to be automatically called 
once uh, and before, as a matter of fact, before the, the error message, the envelope error message uh, pops out. Uh, I put here the name our function, which resides over above. This is, uh, this is the function, our function. So what will happen is, uh, since I, I provided the, 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 the address, uh, or the name, or the address, the location, where the function, my function that I want to be called, then this function will be called before uh, the usual error message of the envelope. Another thing that I need to do after that is uh, to write envelope runtime invent instance notification uh, and add the the new notification delegate. This is this is done in order to to start uh, this process of uh, uh, using the delegation, which is uh, my function instead of uh, of uh, the original function. And now what happens uh, is that my function, this one, is called uh, when uh, when the uh, envelope sees that there is some problem and before having the envelope, the original envelope message, this function is called, this method. And what I did here, I just uh, popped out a message inside our function. And then what I did is I have also an option to control how the envelope will continue, will proceed with it, whether it is going to proceed as normal and add the, the message, the error message, or maybe I want the envelope to do nothing. And here, as you can see, I return envelope runtime status, status return nothing, which means envelope please don't do anything with it. I'm controlling it in my function. Um, and by doing so, I have a, a very good control on uh, on the error messages uh, of uh, functions uh, that I have uh, inside my uh, application. Thank you for watching.